Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the CrocFit app and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's workout is a kettlebell push workout focusing on the chest, the shoulders, the triceps. Make sure you're fully warmed up before you got started. I did some shoulder rolls. I used a band to get the back and the chest all warm and ready to go. We're going to be working with rest and reps on this time. I'm going to be doing a voiceover. So make sure you're ready to go and let's get into it. So I have two kettlebells for this workout, a 12 kilogram and a 16 kilogram. You can do this workout with just one if you like, um, but it's ideal if you have a lighter and a heavier one. The first exercise is a clean and press. We're going for four sets of 10 reps on each arm. The main technique to focus on here is dropping the kettlebell down to the floor using a good quality squat technique, bending the knees, keeping a straight back and use the momentum through the hips up into the shoulders and then shoulder press the kettlebell up above your head. The rep is finished when you fully extended the arm above your head. A couple of other pointers is trying to keep your elbow narrow to your body. And also if you're wearing a watch, I usually find it easier to take that watch off because as you clean the kettlebell up into your wrist, you will find that it knocks on the watch. If it's comfortable for you, then that's fine. Otherwise you might need to take it off for any exercises that irritates that area. Take 45 seconds to one minute rest between sets and stay on the same exercise for four sets. And then when you've completed that, move on into the next exercise, which is a hand on push up. Four sets of 16 reps. And by 16 reps, I mean four reps on one side, and then you walk your hands over to the other side and complete four more, and then you do that two times. When you've done that two times, that's 16 reps overall, and then you take that 45 seconds to one minute rest period and do that all for four sets overall. The one thing you've got to focus on here is that real squeeze, that contraction of the pec. You'll find more of a contraction on the side where the hand is on the kettlebell. Make sure it's flat and secure. Fully extend both arms. Even if it moves you up at a dodgy angle, you want to squeeze that pec. That's it, once you've done your 16 reps, have a rest and move on into the next exercise after four sets is complete. And the next exercise is a halo to front raise, four times 10 complete cycles. And by a complete cycle, I mean a halo going round your head in one direction, round your head in the other direction, and then a front raise. That's one cycle, you complete those three movements 10 times. If you haven't done the, the halo before, then try it out. Move the kettlebell around your head. It's a real tough burner for those shoulders. And that front raise, slight bend in the elbows. I'll change up the angle so you can take a little look at what that looks like. In the front raise, you want to lift the kettlebell to at least shoulder height, a little bit higher if you can. And it really works the shoulders and the traps, the deltoids all on fire. Take the same rest before moving on into the final exercise, which is a thruster to tricep extension. So a full body exercise, but a real big burner for the shoulders and now adding in some tricep work as well. And go for a standard 10 reps, which is 10 reps of each of those two exercises, and then four sets using the same rest periods. In the front squat, which is the thruster, keep the kettlebell into your chest and go down into a deep, pretty much like a goblet squat, knees out, sit down low, use the momentum to drive the kettlebell all the way up above your head, work in the shoulders, keep the elbows quite narrow as you drop the kettlebell behind your head and then use those triceps to drive the kettlebell back above your head, squeeze the triceps, bring it back in front of your chest hold it up high and go straight back into your front squat, which is the thruster. This is constant work for those shoulders and really, really gets burning. By the fourth set, you'll know about it. That really was an epic workout. I used a 12 kilogram and a 16 kilogram. You can get away with just using one, but ideally you have different weights for different exercises. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Just a quick reminder guys that I am creating a workout split for you. So this is the push workout, but I am creating the pull and the legs and the core to make you a full body kettlebell split. So make sure you look out for those workouts on my channel, much more coming soon.